वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल मोदी मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग ट्यूटोरियल्स इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेनिंग अबाउट ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन प्रोडक्ट्स ऑफ ऑस्टेनाइट सो इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो इट विल बी ऑल अबाउट नॉन इक्विलिब्रियम काइंड ऑफ कूलिंग ऑन टू द स्टील्स विच विल बी क्वाइट सिमिलर टू दिस थियरी बट हियर मेन कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑन टू द हाउ द ऑस्टेनाइट इट विल बी ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग इन टू द डिफरेंट प्रोडक्ट्स सो लेट अ स्टार्ट so in case of the transformation from austenite so at above 723 degree centigrade so we all know that that will be the stable austenite then after the depending upon the various kind of cooling rate so that austenite which will be transformed to the perlite benite and martensite so we already discussing that but which process it will be going to be used to converting this stable austenite into the perlite benite and martensite so first of all any transformation products from the austenite you will heat your room temperature steel phase that will be up to the austeniting phase or you can considering as a stable austenite phase so which will be only forms at above the 723 degree centigrade then after what happens so that will be considering as a predetermined temperature shocking it to that temperature for the prolonged period time and finally cool the components with the predetermined rate so that will be converting into the different forms like a perlite benite and martensite once the component to be heated started heating up to the 200 degree centigrade so what happens there will be the no change into the structure but once the temperature it will be reaches up to the 400 degree centigrade so what happens there will be the internal diffusion is being starts so now we will consider for a specimen that will be around 0.8 percentage of carbon or you can say that that will be the eutectoid steel so generally for u textoid steel we already discussing in my previous video it will be having a perlitic structures so this has a microstructure and it will be considering as a 100% perlitic structure so that will be nothing but it will be the laminar layers of the alpha ferrite and cementite so alpha ferrite that will be having a bcc and maximum carbon at the room temperature it means according to the iron carbon diagram up to the 0.025 percentage of carbon that will be having a maximum solubility for the formation of the alpha ferrite and for the cementite that will be having a maximum carbon content it will be up to the 6.67 percentage as per the iron carbon diagram but 100% perlite it will be only forms at the u tectoid steel or you can say 0.8 percentage of the carbon steel so if you want to learn for that u tectoid transformation from austenite to perlite so you will find a link in my description box now what happens here that will be the austenite or you can say stable austenite above the 723 degree centigrade so that will be only achieving by the heating process and at that temperature range according to the weight percentage of carbon you should hold at this temperature line then after by the slow cooling it will be like of furnace cooling or you can say that the air cooling process or you can say in technical language by the annealing or normalizing process that will be the formation of the perlitic structure so basically perlitic structure is nothing but that will be the laminar layer of alpha ferrite plus cementite so just you can see the microstructure of perlite so just you can see that will be the laminar layer of alpha ferrite and cementite or you can say fe3c which is considering as a soft phase of steels at a room temperature 
now there will be the second theory and you can say second conversion austenite to the bainite so basically the bainitic structure it will be interrupted quenching achieved by the quenching into the salt bar so that will be you should know here that will be the quenching process it will be carried out with the help of salt bath kind of cooling so suddenly first of all starting with the rapid cooling then it will be the holding with the slow cooling rates then and then it will be the formation of the bainitic structure so basically for the bainitic structure which is differs from the perlitic structure in the case of the bainitic structure that will be the acicular or you can say non lamellar kind of structure is being found for the alpha ferrite and cementite so basically bainite is formed within an intermediate temperature range we already discussed that it forms between the perlite and the martensite so if you are performing with the slow cooling so that will be the perlitic structure if you quench your materials or you can say with the rapid cooling so that will be the martensite structure so bainite it will be having a characteristics in between perlite and martensite so in the perlitic transformations the diffusion of the both the iron as well as the carbon take place while into the bainitic transformations only carbon atoms that will be diffuses so that will be having a more strength than the perlitic structure so last one that will be the martensite structure we already learned that by the quenching or you can say rapid cooling so that cooling medium you should use as a oil quenching water quenching brine solutions but if you want to make a most harder materials so that will be the most preferable quenching medium as a water quenching medium so this stable austenite with the different non equilibrium cooling so that will be converting into the three different phases perlite bainite and martensite so if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep watching